bought the weirdest things on Amazon and we're starting with this. Oh, and they only get weirder as we go through them. This is a crunch cup. <laughs> so this apparently is for if you want to eat cereal on the go. I feel like I've been missing out because I have never ever seen this before. And we're actually going to test this and see if this is weird or if this is actually weirdly practical. So this is the cup. Huh. And it says that we're gonna pour milk in this bit and we're gonna put cereal in this bit. That looks like a, a small amount of cereal that this is gonna hold. So we screw this up, have cereal and I've never had cinnamon toast crunch before, so this is going to be a first for me. And we're gonna pour these in. Oh, oh, this is not easy. And that's that's as see that's not even a full packet. That's a really small portion. I'm gonna get the milk. Can I have some milk? Oh my god, oh my god, that is so heavy. Oh, um, and how much milk? Pour milk into the large cup. It doesn't actually say how much milk, so I'm just gonna take a guess, because I'm not a massive fan of milk, I'll be honest. I think that'll be enough. Oh, we're soon going to find out, aren't we? Have you heard of this cereal cup thing? So we put, oh, that's a lot of milk, it's just floating. I think this is wrong, hang on. I think we're supposed to screw this in first and then screw this in like this. And then what's meant to happen is that the cereal and the milk comes out at the same time. But you're supposed to have this on the go, but there's no way of sealing it. You, it's just a hole. There's no way of... I'm just get a mouthful of milk. I need to open my mouth wider, hang on. I need to open wider. Mmm! Ah, that's my teeth. Mmm! I don't even like milk. All I am getting is milk. Maybe if I pour some more in. Okay, it's full, surely. Is this how it's supposed to work? That's better, but it's not great. I'm still getting loads of milk, and not a massive amount of, of the cereal, but can I just say that for the first time ever trying Cinnamon Crunch, they are delicious. These cinnamon toast are so nice. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is just plain weird. I'm literally just getting a mouthful of milk and really no cereal, so this isn't really working for me. I think this one's gonna be weirdly useful. Now, have you ever eaten chips or crisps if you're from the UK and your fingers go pink or you get the dust on them and you're always doing this with your fingers and using your t-shirt to clean your hands or your fingers just plain stink? Well, these are called the chip fingertips and they go on the tips of your fingers and it says one size fits all. And I've got rather large hands, so let's see. Oh, no, 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 rest assured. Looking in the wrong place. So it comes with three of them. I'm assuming one for the thumb. And two for the fingers. And I think it would go this way. Oh, it's gonna go this way, isn't it? Because really that's where your fingers get all stinky or all um, dusty. On with the chips. So for some strange reason, I decided to try the flaming hot Cheetos. This is going to be fun. Oh my God, they're so red. These things are bright red. They are so, again, I'm from the UK, so these are a new one on me. These are, so, hang on. Oh, I'm joking. I'm still only joking. They're like, um, now they're starting to kick in. They're like knickknacks. 
people from England. They, they're really quite hot. Ooh, I wasn't joking. So this is protecting these fingers. I think I should try them. I should try it with this hand, my other hand, as an experiment to see if these are just weird or weirdly useful. So I've got one in this hand. Can you get a close up on my fingers? Look at all that dust on them. Can you see the pink? And then there's nothing. These, these are weirdly useful. I think I would use these again, especially if I was at work or was out and about. I'd definitely use these because my hands, <laughs> Cheetos have a, they have a, it's just my hands that stink. They have a really weird smell. Whereas, obviously, with these, they, they don't smell at all. This is a self-stirring coffee cup. I've already stolen the batteries from my remote control because I couldn't find any spare ones. Now, what this thing does is it has a little tablet thing at the bottom of the cup, which is what creates the stirring motion. So that sticks on the magnet, you press it on, and it pins itself off because it's so strong. So we're going to make a cup of tea, English tea. And we're going to see how well this stirs this tea. Now, I have a slight problem with this. As I've just said, I have no, no tea cup, no tea, teaspoon even. So I can't take the tea bag out, but we're gonna gloss over that. So we're just gonna leave the tea bag in and we just pour a little bit of milk in there. And then, I hope this thing sticks, because you imagine drinking it, getting to the bottom and that little tablet thing has moved. What? Oh my God! That's amazing, it works! Oh, that that's oddly useful if you have a drink that's not tea. So maybe if you had a cough, again, You'd need a teaspoon to put the coffee in. I don't know what drink it would be useful for, but if it was like, oh, a cold brew. Maybe you had a cold brew pre-made and you wanted it in your own coffee cup and then you got to add milk to it. But again, you'd buy the coffee from a shop that probably had milk. A gas station. A gas station coffee that didn't, I don't know. Anyway, it would be obviously weirdly useful if I could think of a reason to use it. These are lazy readers. So instead of reading my book like this, I put these lazy readers on instead. Ah! Oh, they remind me of those things when you were a kid that you could see all different pictures in. And you put your book like this and it does the exact same thing. The only problem with the lazy readers is that I've now got a reflection of my t-shirt on my chest. It's very distracting. This, I don't even see the point of these. So when I sit up, I can't, I can see the book and then I see a reflection of the book up here, but I can't see anything else around me. It's literally like, this is all my vision. My field of vision is just this. They're just weird.